Hi, I'm Clark Kinnaird from the Industrial Interface Group here at TI with a short discussion about the common mode operational range for RS-485 signaling. RS-485 uses differential signaling, so only the voltage difference between A and B carries the information. The common mode, or absolute voltage of the wires, is ignored. This gives RS-485 a high level of immunity to most kinds of electromagnetic interference. Common mode offsets between a sending node and a receiving node can be caused by nearby equipment with high current transients, such as electric motors or welding tools. It can also be caused by improper grounding schemes. Whatever the cause, RS-485 drivers and receivers should be able to send and receive differential signals in spite of the steady state or time varying common mode voltage. For the driver, this means generating a 1.5 volt signal between A and B when the network presents a load which has an offset voltage. For the receiver, the challenge is to detect the difference between the A and B voltage levels when both lines are offset from the local supply rails. However, there are limits to the range of common mode voltage which transceivers can tolerate and still operate effectively. The RS-485 standard requires and specifies a common mode voltage range of minus 7 to plus 12 volts, which is 7 volts on either side of the ground and 5 volt supply rails. All TI RS-485 transceivers comply with operation over this range for both driver and receiver functions. We also offer several parts with an extended operational range from minus 20 to plus 25 volts for more severe conditions. For more information, please visit the TI web. Thanks.